This will be a quick video where I point out the major differences and similarities in which I think is best in terms of the Amazon, the eBay, and the Walmart credit cards and what you get back. But first, if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe so you don't miss future ones and hit the like button. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate it. So those three cards, what is my one, two, and three? Well, I have to say that it's a tie and you'll have to break the tie depending upon how you use these cards or how you shop. And that is the ties between Amazon and Walmart. And here's why. Both cards provide 5% cash back on the website, amazon.com or walmart.com. On the one hand, at the time of this video, personally, I, and maybe it's just because I've used it longer, the Amazon website, I find a little easier to use, easier to understand, easier to check out. Um, I like the search functions a little better. I like the way they lay out the descriptions a little better, uh, the reviews, etc. On the Walmart site, I find it a little clunky, but it's gotten better over time. I think it'll continue to get better. So I give that a point to Amazon. However, if you use Walmart, the physical stores quite a bit, you can also use the card and receive cash back at the Walmart's stores that you may go to with your kids for school shopping or clothes for them or their groceries. So on the other hand, if you shop at the Walmart stores quite a bit, well, there's a point for them because not only can you use the card online for cash back, you don't get as much at the physical store, but you also get cash back at the physical store. So I would put those two as a tie. Which one wins really depends on whether or not you shop at the Walmart physical store a lot. If you do, I think that Walmart card might make more sense. But look at how much you spend each year. You can go into your order history on Amazon and on Walmart. You can quickly see what you might spend there. And you probably have a general idea of what you budget and what you spend each month at maybe a Walmart and see which one makes the most sense. Maybe it's both. The eBay card, I put as a second place to the Amazon and Walmart tie. And it's not a close second place. It's a distant second place. Uh, if you've watched videos, we've got an Amazon card review. We have the Walmart card review. and We have the eBay card review. I'll just give you the quick answer to the eBay. And that is that they use a point method. They use the same numbers, 5%. They use five times points, 3%, three times points, 1%, one times point. So you think it's the same, but the redemption is $10 for 1,500 points. What does that matter? Here's what it matters. It means that at most, you're gonna get 3.3% back on eBay. And that's if you spend over $1,000 during a calendar year. And it's only for what you spend over 1,000. Otherwise, you're only getting 2% back. So as you start purchasing during a calendar year on eBay, you're gonna get somewhere between 2% and 3.3%. Well, that's not the five that you get on the Amazon website or the 5% you get on the Walmart website. That's the first thing I'm not too excited about for the eBay card. The second thing is they actually have four ways in which you can lose your eBay points that you've been accruing. And one of them is just, if you don't use the card in a 12 month period of time, you lose the points. I'm not a fan of them having any loopholes on any card that allow them to take away what you've essentially earned. So thank you for watching the video. I wanted to make it short and sweet. But it's either Walmart or Amazon, depending upon your spending habits, and 5% back is substantial. So I definitely have that card in my rotation for those websites when I purchase because you can't get better than 5% cash back anywhere else, especially if it's somewhere that you shop quite a bit. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like the video. I always appreciate it.